Hey friends, welcome back and hello to you new people too. I'm Courtney. I've got Phaedra and Nick snapping in the room with me, so you'll probably see them walking around in the background. That's Nick's little furry tail. Before we jump into this video, I want to ask you to click on the little subscribe button down below so you never miss talking about makeup with me. So I'm really excited to bring you today's video because it's all about the Makeup Geek Power Pigments. Now I just received these pigments this afternoon, so I've only had today to play around with them. But let me tell you, I am thrilled to be able to show them to you. I haven't had like a, enough time to do like a long wear test. I've had them on for about four hours and they're going strong, no fading or creasing, but I am blown away by the formula. So this video is gonna have swatches, comparison swatches, and a demo of me putting every single eyeshadow onto my eyes so you can see how the colors apply and blend out. So Makeup Geek sent me these eyeshadows and here's what they look like. But I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the swatches now. These are the swatches of the Makeup Geek Power Pigment eyeshadows by themselves on my arm. I do swatch using primer. I used Urban Decay's Primer Potion. Indestructible Indigo. Tenacious Teal. Invincible Cool Purple. Dedicated Warm Purple. Courageous Magenta. Unleashed Cool Pink, Untouchable Red, Dynamic Orange, Transform Jade, Potential Yellow. So the colors are beautiful, they're all matte. Oh God, the formula is awesome. Let me go ahead and jump into the comparison swatches. Okay, this is comparing to Sugar Pill, Makeup Geek is up top and Sugar Pill's on the bottom. The Sugar Pill Yellow is brighter, the Sugar Pill Purple is brighter, the Sugar Pill Hot Pink is brighter. The rest, um, the orange and the reds are very, very, very similar. The orange looks identical to my eyes. The red might be a touch warmer from Makeup Geek. And just from swatching them, I really, really love the Makeup Geek formula as compared to the Sugar Pill. Sugar Pill is really pigmented, but I've often had troubles blending out Sugar Pill shades. I feel like the Mug or the Makeup Geek shades blend out much easier. I compared the Makeup Geek Power Pigments to the Sugar Pill eyeshadows. I feel like a lot of people are going to want to make this comparison. That's why I wanted to include this comparison in my, my video. Okay, now that you've seen the swatches and the comparison, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the demo where you can just see me playing with all the different eyeshadows and talking about them. After that, I'm going to bring you my final thoughts. These pigments are so gorgeous, I hardly want to touch them, but we're going to go ahead and dive in. I'm going to try the yellow color first, and I'll put the names of all of the colors up on the screen so that you know which colors I'm working with. And I'm using a Sigma E25 brush. This is basically my go-to brush for applying color to my lid and blending it out. And I would say this yellow is nicely pigmented considering that I am not a fan of yellows on me. I don't like yellow on me. Yellow is fine on other people. I just do not like yellow, the color on me. Makeup Geek says that this is a new formula, and I would say the formula feels different than her original formula. It's, I would say it's pigmented, but thinner, if that makes sense. I am switching to the green shade. which is also nicely pigmented. Now I'm using these dry. If you use them wet, they would be way more intense. But that's true of just about every eyeshadow, so I decided for what I'm doing that dry is fine. I'm just gonna blend the line between the two. These colors do blend pretty easily. Grab the beautiful teal blue. Oh my god, this is like my perfect sort of teal blue color because it's more, she called it a true teal in her video, but it's like, I would say a blue leaning teal. Yeah, 
Yeah, I would say this feels like a thinner formula, but it's very blendable. I'm just kind of blending the green and uh, the green and yellow together and the crease up here, just playing around. And I feel like it does blend pretty easily. I guess I should zoom in just a little bit for you guys. I feel like it does, um, like blending the colors together seems to be pretty easy. I'm just doing like little circles. Sorry, I will try to stay in frame. There's a little bit of fallout because I didn't tap off my brush. Let's grab a different style of brush and try, that was the orange, so let me try the red. You know, the red blends with the orange without any issue. Kind of curious to see what it does up here with the teal. It just kind of looks like it's going gray, mixing the, the red and the teal. All right, I'm taking the color Dedicated, which I think is the warm red-toned purple. I'm going to use that in my crease. I do really like this eyeshadow formula because I feel like it's very easy to blend out and even when I put down just like a bunch of color, it seems to blend out without a problem. trying the color Courageous, which I believe this is a cool pink on my lid. So you're gonna get fallout with these because I'm getting fallout all over the place if you don't tap off your brush and I didn't tap off my brush. I just kind of patted it on there and went for it. I'm gonna try the cool toned purple and I'm just trying that along my inner lower lid. And I'm taking Indestructible, which is like an indigo color. Doing it at my outer lower lid. And then trying to blend it with the pinks. Yeah, these colors blend out very easily. Um, the last color is the warm pink. We're gonna try and use Unleashed in, like as a transition color. Yeah, just look at how easy these colors blend together. Yeah, so I look crazy because of trying on all the colors at once, but you can definitely see in the video, like fallout because I didn't tap off the brushes. Very easily, to, very easy to blend all the colors together though. Now that you've seen the demo, what do you think? Me personally, I was blown away. I was so impressed with the formula. The formula, in my opinion, is sort of like a thinner, and powdery but very pigmented 
and I think because it has a somewhat thinner consistency, it's easier to blend out. I'm sure that there's gonna be people out there who say, oh my God, it's such a buttery formula. This is not a buttery formula. I really like this formula because it's, I don't wanna call it sheer because I don't really feel like it's sheer, but I feel like it's just extremely blendable and buildable, but it still has excellent pigmentation. I found it so much easier to blend out these colors, like the teal blue that I put in my eyes. I had no problem blending this out. Uh, I just, I'm really, really impressed with the formula. I know that these eyeshadows have been a long time in the making for Makeup Geek, and I think they were well worth the wait. I would rather see brands do releases like this where the formula is in my opinion, amazing and very easy to work with as opposed to rush something out that was half-assed. I think that, wow, I'm, I'm so totally blown away and I think Makeup Geek did a great job with this new eyeshadow formula. I'm not sure in the sizing of this. I reached out to Makeup Geek, but I haven't heard back yet. The packaging itself says two grams and 0 0.035 ounces of product. And these pans to me look like they're probably about 0 0.07 grams of product. So I feel like they're twice that size. I'm not really sure. They're definitely larger than the original makeup, uh, original classic makeup geeks that are like, you know, the round pans. So I reached out for clarification on that, that. Hopefully by the time this video is up, I'll have a note about that in my description box. These eyeshadows are gonna be $9 for two grams, which seems quite reasonable to me. For comparison though, Sugar Pill, um, Sugar Pill eyeshadow singles are $10 for 3.5 grams. So, you know, that's something to consider. Now obviously this can't be considered a full review because I've only been able to do a demo and swatches and swatch comparison, but I do feel very comfortable saying that if you like these colors, you need to try at least one. I personally am impressed with the eyeshadow formula. I love how the pinks and purples looked. The teal is amazing. I think that if you're a green fan, you're gonna want the green shade. Um, I, yeah, I, I love all the colors. I think that they turned out great. I'm not even a yellow person and I, I decided to try to work the yellow into my look just because it was such a pretty yellow. From what I can tell from the ingredients listing, some of these shades have carmine, so they're not gonna be vegan. I didn't have a problem with any of these products staining my arm or my lids. So as far as I can tell, these don't contain anything that are going to, that's gonna cause staining. But again, I've only swatched them on my arms a couple times and done the demo looks and this look. Now, nowhere on the packaging does it say that you're not supposed to use this on your eyes. So I'm presuming that all of the ingredients in these products are eye safe in the USA. I know that that was a concern somebody had, but I didn't see anything on the packaging anywhere that mentioned this is not eye safe. So, um, also, my sensitive eyes did not have any issues with this, although of course your mileage may vary because some products that may irritate my eyes may not irritate yours and vice versa. So anyway, I'm really impressed with the Makeup Geek Power Pigments. I think that, that Marlena did a great job putting these together. I hope that she decides to release more mattes in this formula because I really love this formula. Anything that just blends out like this, yeah, I'm hooked on. I felt like everything blended out like a dream in this formula and it was so easy to work with and to blend the colors with one another that it just, I don't know, it was fun to put on eyeshadow. <laughs> I didn't feel like I had to, had to spend a ton of time working to blend out the colors, which is nice. And as much as I love my sugar pill, sometimes I feel like you have to spend a ton of time blending to get the colors to blend out nicely. And I just don't always have the, I'm not always skilled enough to make things that are super pigmented blend out perfectly. And I'm, like I said, I'm very happy with the results and the look that I have on and like the way the colors played around for me in the demo. So what do you think of this new offering from Makeup Geek? Please be sure to let me know in the comments below. If you like this video and wanna see more like it, please give it a thumbs up and share. I love it when you share my videos, it really helps me out. So thank you very much and I'll see you in my next video.